6 a.m. Dwight Muhammad Kwawi does his road work, 3.8 miles. It's not fun for the 29-year-old fighter, more like a necessary evil. Maybe necessary because of some of the unnecessary evils of the past. Is Dwight running to get away from his past? Maybe that's too easy, too simple. But five years ago, he was an inmate at the Rahway State Prison in New Jersey, serving five and a half years for armed robbery. He returned to Rahway recently, visited the prison gym where he sharpened his boxing skills. It stirred some memories. At first, when you come in, right, it's, you have to even get adapt. You know, all over, you don't know how many times you've been back here. You still got to get adapt all over again because it's, it's unreal, it's unnatural. And when you come in, you, the, the cell closes and you can't get up and just walk out when you want to. And then there's going to be moments and the thought going to hit you. They tell you, keep your mind off the street. But the thought's going to come back. And you're going, to be, you're going to be reminded, you know, or you're going to think, you're going to reminisce, rather, you know, that how it was like out there, or what it's like out there, what they're doing out there, what your family doing, what's happening out there. And that's hardcore reality. It can bring you to tears, which I came to many times, you know, at night. I would, after all the activities had died down, lock up is 9 o'clock, and in the streets you probably be just going out somewhere. And, you know, here you have to go to bed that time and just sit there and stare at the walls, read, you know. Whatever you do is going to be repetition because you're going to, that's the same thing you're going to do every night because there's nothing else to do. And it's going to hurt you. It's going to hit you, you know, especially after five years. But here is where I came to grips with a lot of things, you know, about myself. And uh, the atmosphere of boxing was here. And, you know, I decided here what I was going to fight. But, you know, I did a lot of thinking here, a lot of power. I knew I didn't want to come back here. So when I said I can fight a little bit, I said, I love it. It was in my blood. And I said, it was kind of foolish and crazy at the time. I was getting older. And I said, uh, yeah, I can do it, you know, and I can't make myself believe that. And I would, you know, even go as far as fantasizing me being the champ, you know. Now, at the time, Victor Galindez was champ, and I said to myself, I can beat him. Things are different now. When Dwight left Rahway after his visit, there was a limousine waiting to take him back to his training camp in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. There, in contrast to the Stark prison gym, he works out in a lush setting. It's symbolic of the way his life has changed. A couple of years ago, he was a $5 an hour laborer. Now he's in the half million dollar a fight class. It's just like education. The more education you got, all that means is you have more responsibility. You learn that much that you have to take care of that much more, what, what, what needs to be tended to that much more. So the same with getting accumulating a lot of things. If you're a real person, you know, a real human being, you learn that responsibilities come along with that. He's a very intense individual. And I think he is trying to correct some of the things that he might have done wrong as a young man. Dwight's determination shows in the ring. He's small for a light heavyweight, under five feet seven. So at first you think he's going to be a plotter, taking a lot of punches to get inside. But he's an effective boxer, has good moves, he makes his opponent miss. My motto, number one, with fighting is to hit very hard and be hard to hit. And, you know, and I, and I try to live up to that, you know, and I... I get the punches in, and I got the way. And that's the whole thing about boxing, you know. Make them miss and make them pay. I'm, I don't dance around like Ali, you know, and I don't try a whole lot of dumb trick stuff like a lot of other fighters do. My style is an aim, have an aim, and it's a, it has a purpose. And they call me the buzzsaw because I be getting in there and be doing what I got to do and staying right there. But I don't be laying on the guy, don't be smelling, don't be rousing him. You know, it just, uh, it's a technique, it's not, you know, and I, I go to work. I go to work. Yeah.